Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of my Starbound Modding Tutorial Series, Modding 101. Today we are going to be talking about some basic patching. Uh, patching is the way that the devs have implemented to be able to change vanilla assets in the Starbound assets. So in simple language what that means is if I want to go in and say um, like for instance this mod that I'm creating right now I you typically get the boat tech after the first time you upgrade your ship so you enlarge your ship one time and then you go into your tech in the in the AI and then it lets you access more advanced techs one of which is the boat tech but I wanted to get it right when you very first turn on your or reboot your your sail your AI and so that you know that would be something that I would do with patching because that's stuff that's already coded in the game files but I want it to be different. So I'm going to create a patch file to change it. So there's already a great tutorial about all about this on the forums by XX SWAT Elite XX um, called, let's see here, um, yeah, basic patching, um, now with path guide version um, one. And so he has gone through and really laid out all of the details of the patching process but I thought it would be more a little bit more beneficial for some people to be able to see it in vi uh, video format. So let's go ahead and dive right in here. Um, I've already opened up, so like I said, I've created a mod which lets you access the boat tech earlier than you normally would. So um, in my mod, we're going to go in and I've named it tech test. In the tech test folder, we have two things. We've got our mod info file. Um, we've already talked about that in the last video. It's just basically basic information about your mod so that the, um, the game can read it as a mod. And then there's the, uh, the files um, that I'm changing. So um, what I want to do is, like I said, I'm changing something in a file that already exists in Starbound. So where the game controls where at what point you're able to access text is you um, in in the assets I've already unpacked them we talked about that in the last uh, video as well so I go into AI um, and then within AI there's all sorts of crazy folders but what we're looking for is we are looking for these AI command folders the upgrade ship dot AI commands and these basically these are all JSON files, um, and JSON files, like we talked about last time, they basically hold all the, the data um, in a special format that tell the game how it's going to execute commands. So these particular files, they detail out to the game exactly what's going to happen each time you upgrade your AI, or you upgrade your ship, rather. So I've already opened this up um, in my text editor, so if I go into upgrade ship one dot AI command, um, that's what this is here. So we see, um, for example, these, this is where we're going to be concerned with here, is, is the actions section. So this tells it what all the things that it's going to do when it upgrades the AI. And so for instance, this action um, is going to do play sound, and it's going to tell the sound that it's going to play when you upgrade and how many times it's going to loop that sound. So um, for instance here, um, it's going, this action is called um, upgrade ship and the ship parameters, it tells it which ship it's going to upgrade to. Each time you upgrade the ship, it increases in size. Um, but in this case, since we're just rebooting our AI with this AI upgrade um, folder, this upgrade ship folder, it's going to keep it at ship level one. But what we are concerned with here is this action, the show tech action. So this determines what text it's going to show when you click on that button on the AI interface that says show me my tech. These are the text that it's going to show you. So right now it only shows us double jump tech, dash tech, and bounce tech as, as of when we very first reboot our AI. But what I want it to also show you is give you the option to use the boat tech as well. So that is when I'm going to create um, my mod. So I go into my mod and I have this folder called AI. Because when you are making a mod that edits existing files, you need to mirror the exact same file structure that it has in the game files. So for instance, to explain what I'm talking about, in my unpacked assets, 
I see this folder called AI. And that holds the files that I'm going to be changing. So I also need to have a folder called AI. So I create this folder called AI and I go in here and in my AI, the file that I want to change is upgrade ship one dot AI command. So the file that I'm going to create in here is upgrade ship one dot AI command dot patch. So you're wanting to mirror the same file that's in the game files and end it with dot patch because this will tell it, okay, I want to change this file in this location and this dot patch file tells me how I'm going to change it. So I've already popped open this dot patch file over here in my text editor and we go in and see um, this is this is all it is. Um, this is all that I need to add that bow tech into that list and I'm going to go through and explain exactly what I'm doing here. So this first part is OP. This stands for operation and everything after the what I put after this colon tells me what operation I'm going to do. So in this case I'm doing an add operation. And there are different operations. Again, in this tutorial um, by SWAT Elite, you can go in and see um, all the different um, um, operations that are possible. Test, add, remove, move, copy, and replace. Um, and you can kind of, you know, do some experimentation to see, uh, you know, which one you need to use in your particular case. But for me, I'm using add because I just want to add the boat tech to that list. I just want to add something additional. I don't want to change anything. I'm just going to add something to it. So the path, uh, this this second part um, after this comma is the next, the next element on my path patch. So this um, is the path, and after this colon, I put the the path of where I want to add that thing within that file. So you can think of the path just like a file path on your computer. Um, how you need to go to, you know, my documents to get to, you know, my English essay, you know, and so you need to reference that, that path for the computer to be able to reach it. Um, so you can think of a path as almost like a series of boxes. I need to open the biggest box, this first box, to get to this second box, and within that box is my third box that I'm trying to, to get to. So I, right here, I I first need to go to Actions, and as you can see in this um, the AI command file, the first thing I need to get into to get to, to this list here that I want to change, I first need to, to tell it to go to actions, okay? And then now I have a number three here. Now this tells me that I want the, the third thing in actions, in the, the, in the list of actions. But the tricky part is that in most programming languages, numbering starts with zero. So, for instance, in actions, this thing here, this chunk here, that is element zero of this list. So that, now, that would make this element here element one. This would be element two, etc. So even though this is one, two, three, four, this is the fourth thing in actions, it's actually element three because we start with zero. Remember, so this is element one, element two, or I'm sorry, <laughs> this is element zero, element one, element two, and this is element three. So in here I put three, so the element three in actions. So then within element three I want to look at tech name. So this is element three and now I'm looking at tech name. And tech name references this list here. So now I'm telling the computer I want to change something about this list. And this minus right here at the very end tells me I want to add whatever I'm going to add, I want to add it to the end of the list. And that's important because if you add something in the middle of the list, it will change the ordering of this list. So instead of this being element 0 and this being element 1, then dash tech will become um, element 2 because my boat tech will be right here, say, and will become the new element one. So we'll change the ordering of all of these, and if somebody else makes a mod that wants to come in and change this, then they're going to be referencing all the wrong numbered elements. So it's always good practice to add to the end of the list to keep things in order, not to have to not change any of the ordering. So I'm going to add it to the end of the list that is tech name. So then this third element is value. This is basically exactly the code that I want to add in at that position. So in my case, I'm going to want to add in the name of the boat tech um, so that I can reference it in this list to be able to 
access it at the first upgrade. So what this is going to do, and it automatically adds in a comma, essentially what all this code is doing is taking this text here, and it's the computer will go in, it will find actions, it will find the third element, it will find this list, and we'll go to the end of the list, and it automatically creates a, a comma, which is nice. You don't have to worry about syntax or anything. Um, and add in boat tech, which is the, the text that you specified in here. So essentially, this is what I've just done here is exactly what your code is doing. It's adding boat tech right in here, and then when the game runs it, it will, when you upgrade your ship for the first time, give you the boat tech after the first upgrade. Um, but it's important to do it within this this patching, this patch syntax, because otherwise you would have to unpack all of your assets, you would have to go in and, like I did, copy-paste what you want to change into your vanilla assets, and then you would have to pack them all back up. And that, I mean, not only is that a hassle, but it also creates problems, and if you want to give your mod to somebody else, you know, if you want to distribute it, it won't work like that. Um, so this is basically a simple way to tell, you know, anyone who has this mod that it, I'm changing this this element in this folder. So I guess to wrap up, patching is a is a great tool. It's a huge improvement over the old modding system, the old patch system that they used to have. You can change pretty much anything that there is to be changed um, with this system. And uh, if you want to change more things. And forgive me if this syntax is wrong. Um, I believe all you have to do is um, put a comma and then paste another, you know, another instance of this code up here and then change whatever you need to be changed. You know, let's say I wanted to add the uh, mech, the human mech or something. You know, I would just go in and put uh, human mech or whatever it's called. Um, and that would not only add the boat tech, but also it would add the human mech to the end of that, that list at this location. Um, so, I mean, once you get into bigger, hairier mods where you're going to really want to add and remove all sorts of things from the vanilla files, um, it will get pretty lengthy, but this is actually a pretty organized system. You know, you just put another comma and add another, uh, another instance of that, and you would just keep doing that ad infinitum until you've added and removed all the things that you want to do. And it just takes one... Um, just takes one patch file for each file that you want to change. And so if I wanted to change a completely different file and add and remove things, I would create, like we went through already, I would mirror the file structure, I would create another file called, um, a common one is player.config, and so I would do player.config.patch, and then add as many of these little code guys in here as I need to, um, to be able to add and remove and replace anything that I want to uh, within that file. So that's uh, the basics of patching. Again, I will list to that tutorial by xxswatelitexx in the forums in the description, and hopefully it's helpful for you guys. Be sure to leave me some comments and let me know what I can do better in the next videos. Thank you, and have a good one.